free will. That's exactly it. That's what's different between us and the other creatures. Between the heaven and between the trees and the sun and, and so on. I mean, there's a question as whether there are other creatures that might have a little bit of free will, but we certainly have the full-fledged amount of it, right? But before I continue with this, this lecture, how many of you women feel you have free will? Raise your hands. Some of you don't. How many of you feel that if you have this free will, you can fully exercise it? No? That's sad. Because you know why? I mean, it's sad because you should exercise free will to be free human beings, but it's more sad in the afterlife when God on Judgment Day says, I gave you free will, why didn't you exercise it? Because each one of you has her own free will. And you could say, because, and then you give whatever the because is. And God says, so you did not stand up for what you believe in, for yourself. So that defines you. That's part of who you are in the sight of God. Think about that. So, another thought that comes to mind is, why didn't God just leave us alone like he did with the heavens and the earth? And why did he give us free will? You know, it's much easier to be a mountain where you don't have to make decisions. And the Quran itself says that God offered this trust, and I'm interpreting this trust like many other scholars have, that it is the trust of free will, because it's a responsibility. God offered this trust to the mountains, you know, to other inanimate objects. They refused it. Only the human being was foolish enough to say, I'll take it. Right? So now you're responsible for it. And now you have to exercise it. And you cannot say, so and so made me do it. Not even the devil made you do it, because you have your free will. Yes? Um, how does free will fit into the idea that God already has everything written for us, and he already knows what we're going to do? That has uh, resulted in centuries of discussions among scholars. Because if God knows ahead of time, a priori, what we are going to do, then how is it that we have free will? My quick answer as a philosopher who is a Muslim to this question is that when we talk about a priori knowledge as determined, we're thinking in human terms. But God's knowledge is not like ours. It supersedes ours so that God could know something that we could choose in the future without us, de without us being determined. It's hard to imagine. And in fact, faith is hard to imagine. And that's why uh, uh, some of the Christian theologians talk about the leap of faith. Okay, St. Augustine says, take a leap of faith. Logic will never get you there alone. Because there are things beyond the human limited logic. Yes? So can I just add on to that yes. as well? Um, part of the human construct is the time paradigm, which is why it's hard for us to understand why something we haven't done is something that's already Are you guys done. hearing her? I'm not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, part of the human construct is the time paradigm which we work within, and so if God's outside of that time paradigm, it creates a whole another sense of, of um, knowing and knowledge that we can't really understand as human beings. Exactly, because he knows eternity. We, we know through time. Exactly right. Yes. Yes. Um, my issue with free will is Uh, she's concerned about the passage which says God uh, uh, gives uh, guidance to whom he wishes or whom he wills. So let's say he didn't want to give guidance to some random person without their fault, then they find a way. Because God is just, right? God is not just, God is justice, right? God is justice, the essence of um, justice. God will not make you responsible for something you did not choose. Okay? So this again will guide you. Yeah, but this will lead us into another discussion. Maybe one day we will sit and have a discussion, maybe at lunch one day, about free will. 
But the bottom line, the way I understand the Quran, is that you're responsible for your choices, right? You have free will, and uh, you can choose to be guided. Okay? Yes. Um, I'm on the same question because I used to have this question all the time, and I was asking about it, and one answer I got, and I felt it was satisfying, um, is that here we have a leader.
my voice, my allegiance, that I will follow you.